again on Channel Secret Paradise. This time we will talk about Banana plant from their history, cultivation and production. Bananas, known by the scientific name Musa sapientum, are rich in vitamins A, B, C and G although they are 75% water they also contain alkali forming minerals, lots of potassium, natural sugars, protein and little fat. They are easy to digest and the food of choice of many professional athletes when they are competing because they provide quick energy and provide potassium loss during exercise. Bananas are not only a delicious fruit when ripe. In many places, green bananas are also part of some dishes. Banana flour is mixed in delicious salads. Banana tree trunks, when young, can be eaten as a vegetable, and banana tree roots can be cooked with fish, or mixed in salads. There are many banana varieties. Bananas that are eaten raw ripe are called desert bananas, those that are cooked are called plantains. Ripe yellow bananas are 1% starch and 21% sugar. They are easier to digest than green bananas, which are 22% starch and 1% sugar. Green bananas are sometimes gassed to make them yellow prematurely. Bananas come from the herbaceous plants, not trees, that look like a palms but are not palms. Capable of reaching a height of 30 feet but generally much shorter than that. These plants have stalks made of leaves that overlap one another like a celery not woody trunks like trees. As the plant grows the leaves sprout from the top of the plant like a fountain, unfurl and drop downwards like palm fronds. A typical banana plant has 8 to 30 torpedo shaped leaves that are up to 12 feet long and 2 feet wide. New leaves growing up from the center of the plant force the older leaves outward, enlarging the stalk. When the stalk is fully grown, it is from 8 to 16 inches thick, and soft enough to be cut with a bread knife. After the leaves unfurl, the banana's true stem, a green, fibrous extrusion, with a soft ball-sized magenta bud at the end, emerges. As the stem grows the cone-shaped bud at the top weighs it down. Petal-like bracts grow between the overlapping scales surrounding the bud. They fall away revealing clusters of flowers. Oblong fruits emerge from the base of the flowers. The tips of the fruit grow towards the sun, giving bananas their distinctive crescent shape. Each plant produces a single stem. Banana clusters that grow from the stem are called hands. Each stem contains 6 to 9 hands. Each hand contains 10 to 20 individual bananas called fingers. Commercial banana stems produces 6 or 7 hands with 150 to 200 bananas. A typical banana plant grows from a baby to the size in which the fruit are harvested in 9 to 18 months. After the fruit is removed the stalk dies or is cut down. In its place one of more daughters sprout as suckers from the same underground rhizome that produce the mother plant. The suckers, or sprouting corms, are genetic clones of the parent plant. The brown dots in ripe bananas are undeveloped ovules that are never fertilized by pollination. The seeds never develop. Plantains are prepared hundreds of different ways that often indigenous to a specific country or area. They can be boiled or baked but mostly they are sliced and fried as fritters or chips. Plantains that have yellowed are sweeter. These one or boiled, mashed, sautéed or baked. Fully ripened plantains are black and shriveled. They are usually made into mash. In many parts of the world, bananas have traditionally been raised on vast plantation, where banana plants spread out in every direction as far as the eye can see. To be profitable the plantations have to access to roads or railroads that carry the bananas to seaports for transportation overseas. Banana cultivation is a labor-intensive industry. Plantations often require hundreds or thousands of workers, who have traditionally been paid very low wages. Many plantations provide housing, water, electricity, schools, churches and electricity for their workers and their families. Banana plants are planted in rows spaced 8 feet by 4 feet, which allows 1,360 trees per acre. 
Ditches are built to drain the water from heavy rains. Although banana plants can grow as high as 30 or 40 feet, most plantation owners prefer short plants because they don't blow down in storms and are easier to harvest fruit from. The plantation have been accused of using child labor and paying their workers a pittance for wages. This is particularly a problem in Ecuador. In some places workers unions are fairly strong. With union contracts, workers often work 8-hour days, receive decent wages, adequate housing and health and safety protections. Bananas are picked green and gassed to make them yellow. If they weren't picked green they would spoil by the time they reach the markets. Bananas that are left to ripen on the tree are full of water and taste bad. Harvesting takes place about a year after the plants sprout up from the earth. When they are cut the banana stems can weigh between 50 and 125 pounds. In many places harvesting bananas is done by pairs of workers. One person cuts the stalk with a knife-tipped pole and a second person catches the bunches on his back when the fall so the bananas are not bruised and the skin is not damaged. After the harvest the entire plant is cut down and the new plants springs up from the root the next year like a tulip. New shoots often spring out of old desiccated plants. The Africans have a proverb used to accept death and immortality goes, when the plant dies, the shoot grows. One of the main problems with banana farming is what to do plants after they are cut down. After they are harvested the bananas are carried on a wire trolleys, mule carts, tractor-drawn trailers, or narrow-gauge railroads to sheds where they are washed in water tanks to minimize bruising, wrapped in plastic, grated and boxed. The stem are dipped into sealing chemicals to prevent insects and other pests from entering. After being processed in the sheds bananas are often carried by narrow-gauge railroads to the seacoast to be loaded on refrigerated ships that keep the bananas green while they are transported abroad. The temperatures on the ships is usually between 53 F and 58 F. If the weather outside the ship is cold, the bananas are heated with steam. Upon arrival at their destination, the bananas are ripened in special ripening rooms with temperatures between 62 F and 68 F and humidity between 80 and 95 percent and then transported to the stores where they are sold. That's all about the video this time. Thank you for always watching the Secret Paradise channel. See you.